Donald Trump is a loud, nasty, thin-skinned fraud who has never risked anything for anyone and who serves no one but himself. Senator Elizabeth Warren has quite skillfully carved out a role for herself as someone who can very effectively attack Trump, and it was a role she reprised today. In a speech before the American Constitution Society's National Convention, Warren broadened her critique of Trump beyond his attacks of Judge Gonzalo Curiel and issued a rousing call to defeat him in November. What kind of a man is Donald Trump? Donald Trump says Judge Curiel should be ashamed of himself. No, Donald, you should be ashamed of yourself. You shame yourself and you shame this great country. We are the nation of John Adams, a lawyer who defended the British soldiers after the Boston Massacre and then went on to serve as President of the United States. That is who we are. And we will not allow a small, insecure, thin-skinned, wannabe tyrant or his allies in the Senate to destroy the rule of law in the United States of America. We will not. We are ready for this fight because it is time to fight again. Tonight, in a live, exclusive interview right after this show at 9 p.m., on The Rachel Maddow Show, Senator Warren is expected to endorse Hillary Clinton for president. You definitely want to stay tuned for that. Now, Senator Warren has also been the subject of a great deal of speculation of whether she might be a running mate for Clinton. Huffington Post reporting that Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid believes Warren should be Clinton's choice. Today, former Governor Ed Rendell of Pennsylvania said Warren should not be the VP choice because she lacks the foreign policy experience to be commander in chief. But also today, Clinton herself issuing a statement that Warren, quote, is an incredible public servant eminently qualified for any role. So what's next and what's best for the Senator from Massachusetts? Joining me now, Katrina Van Hoovel, editor and publisher of The Nation magazine, which of course has endorsed Bernie Sanders for president. She has played such a key role, only woman in the Democratic caucus in the Senate who hadn't endorsed Clinton. She, it was basically, it was Barack Obama yeah. and Elizabeth Warren were the two that were kind of well, the neutral arbiters here. Senator Warren prizes being an independent voice for all people. She is a fighter against bullies and has been now for many years. Not just Donald Trump. She's taken on the big banks. She's taken on polluters. She is the one, by the way, in 2012 at the convention, Democratic convention, coined the term rigged system and talked about how she was a fighter against that rigged system on behalf of families. She's the godmother of the Consumer Financial Protection Board, which has, by the way, delivered some $17 billion back to 10 million Americans. She is well poised to unify the different wings of the Democratic Party. On the other hand, Donald Trump's doing a heck of a job doing that right now. But her issues, you know, she's in sync with Bernie Sanders on the issue. Yep. She's for repealing glass, for uh, restoring Glass-Steagall 15 minimum wage, reining in, breaking up the big banks, all of those things. She would be an extraordinary vice president. It is her judgment. It, her, her judgment is stellar. It is hers to decide. On the right. other hand, her strength comes from being uncompromising from challenging the administration as she has on international trade and Wall Street accountability yep. and she is unmortgaged unbought and I think she's also an agitator and an outsider in the best sense of those terms and I think it's tough to be so inside as the, White the House. vice president and I think that's one of the things right it would you would give up I mean she has been fiercely independent yeah um, it would be a sort of remarkable thing to have to go from you know never having nominated a woman for president to having two women on the ticket and that would be a but, and she has also obviously shown herself to have an extraordinary amount of political talent. I mean, I like to say we've had experience with same gender tickets. <laughs> That's right. On the other hand, <laughs> will Hillary Clinton want to share the spotlight? I mean, we have. You know, it's you've been around. Yes, yeah, right. But would, will Hillary Clinton want to share the spotlight? This is a historic moment, and I liked, you know, Hillary Clinton invoking the history of standing right. on the shoulders of others who fought for the you know, women's rights and freedoms. I, but I think Elizabeth Warren has an important role to play in the Senate. Yeah. If the Senate returns, it, uh, is democratic. She will have a pulpit there. She can organize a caucus of progressive senators. Bernie Sanders will be at budget. Sherrod Brown will be at banking. Elizabeth Warren, when she speaks, people listen. And I don't know the history of vice presidents, yeah, however it's, independent, it's, it's a really good point. Strong. Although there's also the fact that there are certain things that if she were on the ticket, it would seem the TPP, for instance, which I keep wondering what's going to happen, right? There's going to be a vote at some point. A lot of people predict what will happen. There'll be a sort of lame duck session yes. in which Hillary Clinton 
if she has been elected at that point, says. Yeah, but that's where the social movements, that's where Senator right, but that's Warren, also where, Senator that's Warren right. holds that's where the line, the accountability. Key. Yeah. You know, and look at her. She's really challenged the White House. The other, right. The other thing is. We need I a think sheriff, by the way, not just a sheriff of Wall Street. We need a sheriff of the White House moving forward. And that is Elizabeth Warren's. She's been a cop on the beat. There's also something to say about being able to. Um, you can get away with a lot more if you're just some senator. I mean, some senator, if you're not actually representing the campaign, right? I mean, Elizabeth Warren can say things that might be actually even harder oh, as a vice president. Absolutely. I mean, I, Charles Pierce talked about that murderer's yeah. row of surrogates. She's been leading the way already. Katrina Vanden Heuvel, always a pleasure. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.